Hi there everyone, it's Sarah here and I have a video for you on behalf of Wild Orchid Crafts as part of their YouTube design team, The Wild Bunch. And today's project is an altered notebook. Um, I've got a stockpile of these because I picked them up on clearance about a year and a half ago and they're just great for altering. They originally, the original cover is actually a craft based um, heavy chipboard so what I did was I gave it a coat in pink lemonade acrylic paint um, on all sides of the covers front and back but on the inside covers if you can see the shine there I put some of the Windsor and Newton iridescent medium on there um, and what I've done is on the spine I've used the little silver bells that you can get from the store and some pink seam binding and that's on each alternate uh, ring of the binding there so you've got seam binding and bell and so forth and so on um, and I just like them. it gives it a nice little kind of jingle you can see that there now onto the front cover um, what I did was I can hold this up here um, I used some score tape and I put some around the very outside edge here and then removed it and sprinkled it with Stampin' Up's iridescent, not iridescent, it's Dazzling Diamonds fine glitter. So it's got a, a fine edge of glitter all the way around. In the centre of the book I used some calico fabric and what I did was I used some watered down pink acrylic paint and just gave it a coating on the calico. And then I stitched some uh, muslin fabric onto the top of the calico. And you can get this from Wild Orchid Crafts. Um, the, everything's kind of stitched down with silver silver thread there, if you can see that. Um, I used a bare chipboard frame, um, which I painted in white acrylic paint and edged it all in frayed burlap. And then I used a little Studio G wooden stamp set to stamp the little shabby pink notebook. And that's done in Ranger Archival Jet Black Ink. Then we've got a couple of the new flat back heart um, perils from Wild Orchid Crafts. Um, and I've also used a large iridescent butterfly here and a small cameo at the bottom. Now on the bottom here I've used a crystal heart stem and it runs along here and up to here to the bottom of the frame um, and you can see the crystal hearts just popping out there. You can see them in there. So what I've done is I've used some wild tea roses, some cherry blossoms, sweetheart blossoms, open roses in 20 millimeter in a nice uh, yellowy color and then in pink and then I've got some of the eight millimeter open rosebuds just sneaking their way up the uh, crystal heart stems and then on the top layer I've used the baby pink the baby's breath flowers so I've put four on we've got one here 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 and one over here. I've also used the Sweetheart Blossoms. Um, we've got Cherry Blossoms here. I've got a Calla Lily in here. More Open Roses. We've got another Wild Tea Rose here. There's a Lily Flower that I put in there but it turned out it was just too bright and too vibrant a pink. So I popped a yellow Open Rose on top so you're just getting the pink popping out from below and it takes the, the brightness of the pink away there. More um, cherry blossoms and down more sweetheart blossoms and another calla lily here so that's my little project for this week I hope you enjoy that it gives you some inspiration to maybe go and alter your own notebook um, and I had fun doing this one um, so I shall See you all next week with another project, but don't forget to check out Wild Orchid Crafts website because they have all the new flatback perils in stock and also the uh, flower bead caps. I recorded a video 
on Friday night with all the new products that they had in because I'd already ordered some so if you want to see what they look like you can hop back on my channel a couple of videos ago and you'll be able to see what they've got um, and also check out Wild Orchid Crafts website um, for all your flowery and embellishment needs and check out their YouTube channel The Wild Bunch on the Wild Orchid Crafts uh, channel and see what the other design team members have been creating for you this week. So I'm going to head off and I'll see you again next weekend with another project. So until then, I shall see you later. Bye for now.